Well, good morning. This is Handsome Jack. I have gas will travel. Uh, I wanted to make a little video this morning. Uh, first, I want to say I want to thank all the subscribers that we have. The list is growing, I don't know, 10 to 15 per day. So, I must be doing something right. Either that or a lot of people just like to see an old guy talk. But, uh, Today's the 13th, uh, so I thought I'd give a give a little bit of credit to some people that have, have made our channel pretty popular. And uh, there's too many to list, so what I thought I would do, well actually I didn't think of it, my wife did, but She's not here and I am, so I'll use her idea. I'm going to do 13 people because it's the 13th. And uh, we've met so many nice people on here. Uh, I mean, all kinds of people. Some people that probably I wouldn't have taken a second look at if I met them somewhere. Some of them look rough and gruff. Some of them are different in different ways. A couple of them are even transgender. And that doesn't bother me because I'm here to learn, I guess. Uh, I don't want to say it. Uh, we're, we're all in this RV thing together. And... Uh, all of these people do not have RVs. Most of them do, or they're living in one. And uh, some just some of them would like to and just can't do it. So anyway, this is the list I got right here. I'm going to start with Rusty Nail. Uh, He's down in Florida right now. They bought an RV. They're fixing it up. And it's, uh, it's a Class C. It's a nice unit from what I've seen of his, his videos. He's very interesting to watch. Uh, just They just seem like really nice people. Him and his wife. And, uh, but they're having kind of a hard time seems like they bought this RV and there's more wrong than they thought but they're getting it together and I'm sure they will and if I was there I'd give them a hand but I'm not a here. all right number two one of the unlikely ones that if I saw on the street I probably wouldn't talk to but his name is on YouTube is Pounder Speaks rough gruff looking guy as far as uh I don't know how to say it, just, you know, motorcycle type is what he looks like. But uh, after watching a few of his videos, I'm not so sure anymore. He, uh, he had a truck going through. He does leather goods. He uh, makes wrist cuffs for watches. I don't know what all he does. I've seen some of his work and it's nice. I mean really nice. Uh, he does, the, like I said, the wrist cuffs. Uh, I saw a pair of pants he made out of scrap leather, scrap pieces, that I thought were pretty cool. He says they're a pain, but they look really nice. But he does a lot of... Uh, a lot of leather work and if you're looking for something in leather he can make it I'm pretty sure he can do just about anything he's very talented and uh, kind of deep when he when he listen to his videos he's he's a big friggin pussycat that's what he is but uh, he's a nice guy we really enjoy him so uh, like I said if I met him on the street I probably wouldn't pay any attention to him, but really nice guy. 
Another one we've got on the list is Rosie O'Kelly. Uh, they bought a GMC van, or not van, uh, RV. I think it's a 1973. They call it the Yellow Submarine. Nice looking unit. Older unit, but I'll tell you what. It's in great shape. Really nice. One of the, I think it's one of the first RVs. Uh, it was the only RV, I think, that was mass-produced by one of the big three auto companies. Anyway, they've been great to us. They always comment on our videos and uh, just seem to be real nice people. They're out in California, and uh, they just got their RV, so they're just really getting into it, but uh, super nice. Uh... RV Lucky. Uh, really nice guy, older guy. I don't know, he's probably about my age. Maybe I'm older than he is, I don't know. Uh, he has some deep thoughts every now and then. When I say deep thoughts, I mean something interesting that they talk about. And uh, I know no uh, bull crap kind of thing. He just sits there and talks and I don't know, kind of just enjoyable to sit there and watch and listen to, I guess. Then we have Prepper Nurse One, who's in upstate New York and he's up above us. He's just a couple hours away. I don't, I don't know him personally. I watch a lot of his videos. He's living in a, in a, uh, trailer, uh, Oh, not a camp trailer. Well, a camp trailer. I don't know what you call it. Uh, brain's not working too good right now. But uh, he, he moved on to a piece of land. There's no electricity there. He does have a well. Uh, I assume a septic tank. But it looks like it was something that somebody had had a regular trailer set up on before, and he moved his camper in there. And... Uh, set up solar panels and all that. You got a big battery bank. Uh, if you go back and look from his beginning videos right on up through, seems like a pretty honest person uh, when he tells you what's going on. I mean, he tells you everything. You'll enjoy him too, I'm sure. Uh, everything from hooking up the batteries to his kids or with him. Okay, RV or TV, just fun to watch. He bought an older unit, I don't know, 70s I think it was from, and completely went through it. He even repainted the outside. And uh, he tells you everything he's doing. His videos aren't very long, but they're very informative. And uh, he just does a great job. You'll really enjoy him too. New Beginnings. What can I say about New Beginnings? They're just getting into this RV stuff. They've watched a lot of our videos. They're, they always comment. Uh, we feel like they're just good friends and we don't even know them except from their videos. Brian Blues is next. He's overseas somewhere. I can't remember where. Taiwan, something. I don't want to say for sure because I honestly don't know. He has commented, I think, on every video I've ever made. Seems like a super nice guy. He just put an introduction on there a few days ago. <laughs> so we kind of got to see his face. I think it was for the first time. Uh just he's funny to watch uh, next Sue Witter does not have any videos on there she's my daughter she leaves comments all the time bugging my butt she just likes to aggravate me I think but she's a good kid. She's mine. I got to put up with her. Anyway, uh, 
Like I say, she doesn't have any videos, but she does leave a lot of comments. Okay, next is Debbie Lynn R. Uh, what can I say about Debbie Lynn R? She plays <coughs> her guitar on YouTube all the time. She makes little videos. They're only two or three minutes long. Different songs that she sits down and learns. Funny to watch. I mean, funny to watch. Always bubbly and happy. Uh, we just enjoy her. Next one's RV Granny. Uh, they, I believe, are full-timers. Uh, they travel around quite a bit. And she takes little pictures, and she takes time to go into some of these buildings and stuff and tell the history and stuff. Very interesting to watch. So, RV Granny would be a good one, too. Next is RV Deb's Journey. She lost her husband a year or so ago. Super nice lady. When I first got into this, we've only I've only been in this video for about two months now. And uh, before she even had a video on, I wrote her a message. Because she was down in Florida. Well, she still is down in Florida. And told her that if it was possible, we'd like to meet up. It just seemed like a really nice lady. And uh, she's getting her stuff together big time. I mean, she just... Uh, she, like I say, she lost her husband a year ago, and she has come a, so far, such a long ways for one year. Okay, and we are looking, really looking forward to meeting her, if we can possibly get down there before she leaves, because she's headed for Texas. She lives in a, she, she bought a 28-foot, I think, camper, and she lives in that. Uh, Ron Allard is the last one. Uh, what can I say about Ron? Uh... He makes videos for things that he's learned since he's moved into his RV, I guess. He, he lives in an RV full time. <coughs> he's funny to watch. And, I mean, that to me, you know, just sitting there watching a dull video isn't any fun. But he's fun to watch. And uh, he is constantly uh, doing something. He even does... He even does a few cooking videos just to show you what he what he's doing. But uh, he is really fun to watch. I would say he'd come in under the top ten probably. Well, that's about it for now. I don't want to make this too long. But uh, these are just some of the people that we really enjoy. And like I said, there's only 13. Now, there are more. But it's the 13th, so I put 13 names on. When I do the next video, whether it's next month on the 13th or if it's done on the 9th or something, then I'll have whatever the date it is, I'll put that many more on. And uh, like I say, we appreciate all these people and everybody that watches our videos. So until next time, this is Handsome Jack of Have Gas, Will Travel, Ramblin' Rose, and Princess saying goodbye for now.